Now we're going to be on part four. And in part four, I'm going to show you how to set this up for um, the knobs on your X-Touch Mini. First, we need to get our uh, MIDI devices. And we've got our X-Touch Mini. So we're just going to take a look. Take a look at it. We've got layer A, rotary buttons, rotary knobs, because each of these push, right? So it's a button and a knob. Uh, okay, so uh, we've got a layer A and a layer B. I'm only going to deal with one, but these things are awesome. So you got to get one of these if you don't have uh, lower buttons and upper buttons and rotaries and rotary push. All right, that sounds good. Hopefully it's already defined so we don't have to go through any of that definition stuff. Uh, okay, so let's go to, uh, it doesn't matter, we're going to go to Zones, and we're going to go to X-Touch Mini. Oh, look, it's got Recom. Uh, let's see what it has here so far. Uh, we're not going to use, I don't know if I want to delete that. Uh, what happens is um, CSI is just going to pull from whatever folder that I define. So if I go to um, the main view, I'm going to go add mini. I'm going to go mini, X-Touch mini 1, mini 1, MST. And the folder is just going to go the X-Touch mini folder. Just here, it's already going to have that and it's going to duplicate things I don't want it to do. Uh, I'm going to delete that. I can always bring it back but I'm gonna delete that. I've got Recom, now let's take a look at Recom. Okay, so I'm going to do this, uh, what I did before. Uh, let's, so this is why we need the MST file because we need to figure out how is it defined. Uh, layer A Rotary 1, let's just copy that. Recomp, we're gonna say Layer A Rotary 1, uh, Rotary 2, so what I'm doing is I'm just replacing this stuff with uh, the widget names, right? And so let me tell you how this works, okay? First of all, uh, it's a zone file, right? The zone file needs to go in the uh, appropriate zone folder. X-Touch Mini, right? We've got Recomp. So let's say we plan to use this surface here for um, FX parameters, okay, only. Like, that's what I use the C for. That's a really good use for it because it's got the endless encoders and lots of them. Okay, so we know that. So we know we're going to have a zone file. We've got the zone file here. And so the way this works is we've got a zone. We're defining it, and we're defining it the name of the VST exactly, okay, it has to be exactly that name. When you look here, you see VST colon recomp parentheses cacos, close parentheses, all right? But we need to make sure that the name is the exact name of the VST, and then we have it exactly how it's listed um, on the VST, okay? So we have in selected track navigator, that means um, when I select the track, then those parameters will come up. We can also have only when it's focused will the knobs come up, which actually might be better. The point is we want that selected track, so whenever we select the track, these parameters should show up here on the surface. We've defined the widget, and then we're defining the FX parameter. Then we have the index, and I'll tell you about the index in a second, but the index is basically how Reaper identifies what the actual parameter is. And then we have a display name here, which only works if you actually have a display. This does not, so it doesn't matter. Um, so I've only defined four here, just the four first rotaries here. And so let's see what happens, okay? Let's minimize that. Uh, we have already defined that. And hit OK. Now hit OK. And do we got anything? We do not. So a few things. Number one, make sure that uh, you have the right name. So the name should be listed exactly here as it is there, VST, and also in the file name. 
use underscores. It's very important that the name is exact. Number two, I um, restarted Reaper. And number three, I also unplugged and replugged in my control surfaces because sometimes when you have a lot of them and you're doing a lot of stuff and you're in and out, like, you know, it's just they need to be reset. So um, you might want to give that a try because sometimes, especially with the FX, um, it can be a little quirky. Um, so don't be afraid to, you know, if you don't see any response at all, unplug the stuff, plug it back in, um, or do a reset or whatever it is that you do. All right, all right folks. Well, there you have it. So uh, that's just a quick way that you can get your FX set up. Make sure you have the right file name. Make sure you have the right widget name. The FX parameter. Oh, I forgot to tell you. How do you get the index? It's really easy. It can be a little tedious. I'll give you an example of where it's easy. There's probably 20 in here. The index starts from zero at the top. So zero, one, two, three. And then you'll notice that this is zero, uh, one, and then two, three. Is zero is the first one. It starts at zero and it's in numerical order going down. That's not so many. If I had something like uh, I've got uh, the virtual mix rack. Now this thing can have a lot. I mean, right now it doesn't have any, but if I do like this and I go to UI, look at all those. So, um, you know, yeah, you might have to count. Uh, I'm sure there'll be an easier way coming. The learn window and all that, the learn mode didn't really work out, but at least you have a way you can do it. You know, you don't have to have every parameter like some of the other ones. Um, you just do the ones that you want. You can name them and put them wherever you want. So go out there and give it a shot. That's basically my little series here. Um, I hope this was a little bit more clear. Uh, I, you know, it was still very basic because, I mean, I've been at this for a long time trying to make this video um, today. And um, it's not easy because there's... You just got to get in there and do it. There's really no other way. Don't be afraid. You're not going to break anything. Um, just give it a shot. There's a lot of help on the forums. I'll link everything in the uh, in the description so that you can get to the forum and get to the files and all that stuff. I'm also going to include uh, the updated Pro X because I think that's for the old firmware. I've got the new firmware, um, which uh, basically kind of add some buttons and maybe I'll also include uh, the layout here that I've got so that way at least you know it'll correspond and because I've got some custom stuff that uh, you might not want uh, anyway uh, thanks for watching uh, I'll see you on the forums later